So you've written your story. First up, congrats, that is no small feat. But as we all know, writing's only the first step. Now you have to get people to actually read it. And if social media has taught us anything, it's that there's a bit of a formula to getting people to see your content and actually pay attention to it. Two of the most important tools in your Wattpad toolkit are your tags and your story descriptions. And that's what we're gonna dig into today. I'm Jess, and this is Story School. Got the whole wide world of Wattpad. That's millions of users worldwide and even more stories. It can sound a bit overwhelming, but really all you need is to get your story in front of the right readers. Find your people, so to speak. The good thing is Wattpad has you covered. We as writers spend so many hours invested in writing the actual story only to underinvest in writing the description, which is such a critical part. Hi, I'm Jessica Consolo and I'm the author of the With Me series. A reader's time is precious. A story description is your first chance to hook a reader. You want to draw them in with your idea and give them a clear sense of the experience that they're going to have. A good story description should give the readers an idea of who the story is about, what they want, and the stakes of their story. So who the character is, their goal, and what's stopping them from getting that goal. For instance, here's a snippet of my description from my book, She's With Me, which has over 150 million reads on Wattpad. Amelia Collins is in witness protection, starting at a new school in a small town. But when she becomes involved with the most infamous guy at school, she's reminded that she can never truly escape her tragic past. And there you have it, hooked, right? <laughs> so now let's talk about the difference between an ongoing serialized story description and a completed story description. A completed story description gets us excited about how the story will end. An ongoing story description gets us excited about how it will continue over time. Ongoing stories need a short description letting the audience know that it's a serialized story. Think of reading a description for a TV series, not an episode. It covers a quick premise, enough to get the reader hooked, but isn't as focused on the individual plotline. A mistake that we often see on Wattpad is when people will take quotes of their story and put that as their only description, but that doesn't tell us what the story is about. We want to know what's happening in the story. And just a tip from writer to writer, if you have a set posting schedule, make sure to include what day your readers can expect a new update in the story description. Tags should be a way to attract readers who'd be interested in and or see themselves represented in your story. Which is why it's important to use tags that will attract quality readers who will actually be invested in your story, rather than just using the most popular tag to get the most people to see it. This is why it's important to be specific with your tags, especially if it relates to diverse communities, just to make sure your target audience can find your stories most easily. For example, using the lesbian or WLW tags in addition to the LGBTQ plus tag or the black tag in addition to the POC tag. If your story contains sensitive topics, tags can also be used as trigger warnings. Remember, you're looking for your readers and they're looking for you too. Tags and descriptions are here to help you find each other. So get tagging. Thanks for watching Law Patterns and catch you next episode.